Can you can you remember your first panel? Your first get your first goal for United. Yeah, the one uh, with the penalty. Yeah. Uh, and Beck's yeah. Hand, Beck's, hand, Beck's hand is you the ball. What what's your, what's going through your mind there then? I don't know, but I, you know now if I <laughs> I remember you know I I can see you on the bench when they see the the images and you say uh, and uh, and I, and now. When you see things that you've done uh, during your professional career, that was a big, that was a big situation, you know, tough situation because, you know, like Bex gave me something, you know, that was uh, great, uh, very good from him. Yeah. But at the moment, now if you think about it, it was really heavy because it's something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was not scoring a goal. Yeah. And now Bex, give me the ball. And it's like saying, okay, you have to score the goal. Because... <laughs> yeah. No pressure. Did you expect it? Is it something you talked about? Yeah, because it was really tough. You know, now if you think about it, you say, oh my God, you know, it's like, yeah, I have to score. If I, if I don't score the goal, it's like, ah, yeah, you are not good. You know, it's, yeah. uh, you know, but now that you think about it, you know, it's it was tough at that moment. But at that moment, I was, you know, 100% you know, concentrate and trying to, knowing that, not that how heavy it was in that moment, but knowing that I needed to score the goal, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was not that, that easy, like everybody said, okay, it's a penalty, score the goal, and you're going to make the debut, you know. No, it was, it was tougher than that. But it went in. Yeah. Course, and it did, yeah. did you feel like... That did you feel like there was pressure on you to score? Because from a fan's perspective, like I remember when you signed and when you were playing, and I loved it when you were on the pitch, regardless of goals, because your your output as a player, you were like you were so fun to watch because you were full of action. You were you were running and tackling and jumping and a, and there was just stuff happening whenever you were on the pitch. So the goals didn't matter to me as a fan because the team was always winning anyway. But for you personally, I guess once you did score, that must have felt like a weight lifted. And then once you scored, you couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah, and, and and you know, I scored that goal. It was I don't know, it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, in the Champions League game, and in the and the next game, the Premier League against Aston Villa. Yeah. I don't, I I think I went on the pitch, or I don't know if I played the, the full ninety minutes at the moment, and I scored a great goal with the, the I think it was Mikel Silvestre. He crossed the ball, and with the head, I scored a goal, and then I started scoring goals. And yeah, it was it was easy for me. The goal against Southampton. You remember it? You got a little smirk yeah. on your face. Can yeah. you remember those horrible, horrible shirts we wore? Yeah. And, <laughs> and for about the next ten or fifteen minutes, you're running around with a shirt in your hand because you can't get no, the shirt I, back on. No, it was unbelievable. You know, yeah, because it was a long sleeve, and and during, yeah. uh, uh, you know, um, down it was another long sleeve. Yeah. And it was wet. So, you know, <laughs> when I scored that goal, it was a beautiful goal, uh, and it was at the end of the game, and I took my shirt off and started running, and there was no yellow card. <laughs> uh, I knew at that moment when I was going back, I said, now how am I going to put that shirt again? <laughs> I knew that nightmare. it was going to be, you know, with a long sleeve, it's going to be, I don't know, all night, <laughs> you know, <Twisted>. very, you know, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Albert was trying, you know, he was like, angry. <laughs> and I remember it was BT on, on Southampton and, and the game started again and the, and the referee said, okay, you have to go out, of course. And, and, and I was there, you know, with the shirt. And, <laughs> and I saw that, that the ball, you know, was, uh, BT was going past with the ball and I went from behind to the ball, give it to Fabian. <laughs> And everybody started shouting. It was unbelievable. And nowadays, you know, I, I tell my friends, you know, and, and people, and because you always, you know, you get through the years and you forget things and said, okay, I'm going to tell you, I'm the only player who played for only 15 <laughs> seconds in the Premier League without shirt, you know? <laughs> I, had the, uh, I had the DVD of that season review and of like the official May United one. And that showed, I think, more highlights of you playing that pass without a shirt on than it did of the goal. It was unbelievable. But, you know, funny thing was, we play against Liverpool in the, for the, the semi-final for the European Europa League in 2010, when we won it against Fulham. And we went to Anfield, and I was in the dressing room, 
and I was watching, you know, like waiting for for for, for going to the warm up. And when we arrived to the dressing room, I went in one column that they have in the middle of the dressing room in that moment, and there was a picture of me without the shirt. And I was like, <laughs> what? And and they they were saying, don't take your shirt off. You're gonna get yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> That is the reason why so many Manchester United fans loved you. They loved your celebrations. They loved your hard work. Did you feel close to the fans very early on in your Manchester United career? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I yeah, they, they always supported me really well. And, and like I said at the beginning, that I was not scoring goals, uh, and I was always trying hard. Uh, they like adopted me, you know, I don't yeah, know. Of course. And I don't know how to say that word. Maybe you have a better word. And and maybe because of that, then when I started scoring goals, they were more, and I scoring again in Anfield as well. That was an important game and scoring those two goals. So it was, it was really good. And till now, you know, when I left United, I was in Villarreal, I think it was 2005. And we were with my brother watching the, uh, Manchester United, Liverpool, and they stopped singing my name, um, singing my song. And we yeah. were like surprised, you know, like I said. Well, do you know how it goes? Uh, how it goes, the, the, the song? Yeah, do you know the words of the song? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, I we'd love to hear it. No, <laughs> I'm not a good singer. I'm no. not a good singer. I don't believe so that for a second. But, 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 you know, the, I was really surprised, you know, and still now, and I'm a very uh, close friend with Andy Mitten. And we still talk about him, yeah. and Andy. You know, uh, we all we said that we are gonna do it now. Maybe we can do it at the moment. Now it's difficult, but now that I'm available at the moment and I'm not coaching, we wanted to uh, disguise and and go to the to the <laughs> supporters oh, and yeah. to, to see how it's gonna be a a, a derby like this. Uh, but with the fans in the middle, without them knowing that it's me, you know. Diego, you, that 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 game where you scored two goals against Liverpool, that's that actually cemented you as an absolute cult hero. Because the song doesn't even just get saved for Liverpool. There are games during the season when that song is sung. Yeah, that's why. You know, I'm really surprised, really happy. You know, you know, having it's a club that has so so. So much history with so great players and and you know there were so so many players they 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 play there and they are gonna still play in you know and and you and they sometimes they sing my song I don't know you know you have to be it's a, it's really I'm really proud you know it's I'm really proud thankful I don't know it's so many words you, you can say that they can still sing that song it's it's unbelievable uh, you know in the future now with my kids. Now, of course, they are really babies, but uh, in the future, I've had, if I have the opportunity and I'm in the state and they sing that my song, you know, imagine what wow. what I can feel in that moment, and maybe they will understand what I, uh, what is happening. When you when people ask about your Manchester United career, I'm sure they bring up like us. Liverpool goals, Chelsea goals, Southampton. But for you, did you have a personal favorite? Goals. Yeah. Yeah, because those are I the one iconic score. ones. But for you, maybe you had a different favorite. Yeah, of course. It's it's like when they ask they ask me during my career which are your favorite goals, and it's difficult to say. Okay, there's the ones you score as a goals, how beautiful they were, and also the ones that they were really important. Like at Anfield, were really important goals. The yeah. second one was really nice. The first one it was a mistake, and I, you know, I was there and I. I read it really well and I pushed the ball. Sometimes when you push the ball, sometimes you, you put it away from the net, but <laughs> this game was good. The second one was good as well, but it was not those uh, those goals I used to score uh, that were better. One goal I remember really well, I don't know if you remember, but it was a great goal and uh, against uh, Glasgow, Glasgow Ranger and uh, yeah. a little tougher. A volley, a hat, was a bit, was really really nice, a really nice uh, volley I scored, uh, beautiful. The one it was, it then there was so the, clean. the other two goals I scored, I scored against Aston Villa, 
Uh, I remember that time uh, I was scoring goals. I was in a good role. And I remember that uh, Sir Alex came to me. I was currently, I was playing alongside Ruud and I was scoring uh, a lot of goals in that moment. And uh, Sir Alex came to me and said that uh, Ruud, he preferred to play on, on his own so that I was going to be on the bench. Okay, no problem. Look, I was not that happy. I was more angry because I was scoring goals. And I went on the pitch. I remember Roy King, uh, Kino came to me and he knew that I was angry. And uh, and uh, Gaffa put me in the last 15 minutes. And I went on the pitch. I think we were 2-0 up. And I got the ball. And I was so angry trying to hit the ball that I remember Cristiano Ronaldo was on the side. And I was getting the ball. I fell down with the ball. I got up, went around trying to see a way to hit the ball. And I hit it with the left. It was a great strike. And put it on the, on the top corner. And then a second one that Cleverson gave it to me with the back heel. I controlled the ball. I don't, I don't remember the movement now well. And I tried to... to I, I, hit it, I, I controlled the ball. I don't know, went back from, from here. I turned around. The guy didn't know what to do. The defender, he fell down. And I scored with the left on the other side. It was really nice. Those three goals were really, really nice. Southampton ball was great. One was really, really nice as well. But I think the one against Claudio Ranger, I think it was the one I, I, I can tell I think it's the best, the best one. Favorite. 